TV at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting here with Anastasios Gregoriades, one of the designers of the game, and Konstantinos Kukinis from uh, Artivia Games, and they're here to talk about lap dance. <laughs> okay, this is a, a game where the players actually are uh, the assistants of a manager who was fired. Oh. And now they are trying to take uh, his place. Uh, the player who will more ma most money at the end of the day will uh, be the new manager of our entertainment club. <laughs> <laughs> well, in order to do the, uh, that, the game has three phases. It has the preparation phase, the action phase, and the refill phase. During preparation phase, but before we start that, player starts with cards. But the initial hand. Do I get to look at them? Yes, you can look at them. Uh, it's mandatory. You must. Uh, let's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> this is a, a card of a action hero or superhero. Only that this is a, a male dancer. Okay. Uh, the cards have a name, representing what you can see in the picture. Uh, they have a symbol, remember that when I will explain the desired card, and the benefit of the card is over down here, which you will use it in order to accomplish the desired cards. Take back. Now, uh, the starting card uh, is, uh, has uh, six cards which are prefixed. Uh, you can see them by their uh, color border over here. Okay, and four random cards. So it's time your hand will be slightly different. So you see these have a purple edge to them? Exactly. And these have that light exactly. Edge yeah. them. Now, also uh, the, the decks, the, the, the hand you are holding and the one I have is different. Are completely well. different. They're completely different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, so there are each four color has different, a... each color has different yeah, cards. Yeah. There are four different decks. So you don't necessarily know what you're getting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, as I said before, the game has three phases, preparation phase, action phase, refill phase. During preparation phase, the players start by reading the rules of the customer. Customer comes with two rules. One mechanical rule for the round, one a uh, fun rule. Hmm. We like fun rules. We like fun rules. <laughs> I, I'd like to see us playing this fun rule here. Yeah, yeah. At the demo. We will try. <laughs> she will try. Now. It's a little hard with the setup. For example, in, in, on this player, uh, the mechanic rule is that each order requires an additional dancer. Okay. So okay. For, for every order you want to fulfill, you will need to add an additional dancer through your dice. So two, di two dancers instead of one. Yeah, so yes. you can ask uh, Costandinos to dance. No, 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 no. The fun rule, the fun rule of the game, uh, the fun rule of this custom is that whenever you fill an order, you fly around the table like an airplane. <laughs> So you need to do that. Uh, the fun rules are optional. You don't okay. have to play with them. Okay, you can Depending ignore, on what ignore them. Yeah. You exactly. can either yeah. ignore them or you can have but a lot of fun. But if you choose to keep them, then you need to, to, to always, uh, always play with these rules. And if other players take notice that you are cheating and you didn't do what you had to do, then you might lose, you have to lose uh, money. And if you can't, you lose your favorite tokens. So there's a penalty but only if others take notice. Of course, and, and also only if uh, everyone agrees to do the funny rules or not. Oh, yes, yes, but yes. if you decide to play with these rules, you have to follow it throughout the game. Indeed. Okay, I, I so prefer. I'll let him continue. Okay, now, after you, in the uh, preparation phase, after you read the two rules, openly, to the other players also, you reveal the desire card. The desire card has two sections. The first section shows the desires of the customer. The second section shows the orders that the customer will do. For the preparation phase, we only need the desires of the customers. And these symbols are actually to toil, uh, uh, dictate you which cards you can play from your hand. So, the card is open and we have one minute to place in front of us a stack of four cards face down that okay. we'll use them later on in the action phase. Dicta uh, yes, with those symbols. Now, if you don't, not all the symbols necessarily. Symbols no, you can, you can place you as can many as you want with exactly, any of them. Exactly, exactly, exactly that. One minute. 
So there are there are six different symbols that you can uh, use, plus the final symbol. Let me see if I have any here. That's, yeah. There are, there are also some event cards with this symbol that you can also add, regardless uh, of the ones shown here. You can always also play with events. Event oh, cards okay. are usually played against other players, or they enhance your gameplay. They can benefit okay. you. So let's say I chose these cards. Okay. Okay, so you, you chose up to four cards. As soon as you are finished choosing, you before the timer ends, you need to grab a card. This indicates you have priority, you are the first player now. And I will get the second one. In a four-player game, there's even more competition there, because if you play last, there are several options that you might not have available. Exactly. Playing first is, is way better always. So. Um, as soon as you are done with your cards, you initially place them face down. You take priority card, and then once everyone is done, we all reveal our cards. At the same time. At the same time. And we first resolve any event cards. So we showed you an event card. The first player, the fir the first player resolved his event card. The second player resolved his first event card. And then the first player will resolve a second event card if there is such in his stack. And so on until everyone resolves all, all, all their event cards. And uh, that's how the preparation phase ends. Now, action phase. During action phase, uh, the first player gets that many dice, dice as many as he has on his call on his cards, plus two. So in your case, that will be four. You roll the dice and you try to to get one of these. You got you try to get all of this if possible. Ah. Because the more money you get, the more closer to victory you are. So. So this one. You try to fulfill as many orders one? as you can by assigning <coughs> symbols there. Yes. But you have the option to re-roll your dice. Let me simply explain this. Ah. Any stars rolled, they are automatically locked. They can only assist you with your personal assistant. You can get okay. a further benefit. All other cards, you, uh, oh, sorry, all other dice, you have to choose one to keep. You probably need yeah. one. <laughs> this one, one, it's better. You can re-roll this. You can keep more if you okay. want, but you are also allowed to re-roll. With each re-roll, you might roll something better, but you may also get more. more and also, dice. you are obliged to keep always one die. Yes. Okay. So if I re-roll and I roll these two, I would still have to keep one again and keep re-rolling if I want. Or I could keep everything. Okay, so once you're done rolling, what you need to do is uh, assign your dice, your dice on the to on the orders. To the orders. In order to fulfill the orders. Uh, in your case, probably you will go for three drinks in order to get the three dollars. Okay, and now you have two uh, luxuries or two drinks to use them. And uh, since you don't have, you have only, you have, she has two drinks over here. Yes. So probably you will go on this one. You will go two drinks, three drinks, and you will serve this. And this will become a luxury. So you go luxury two, and you have one dancer here. So you need one more. You need one more dancer. So here's where, where these guys help. You use your favorite token, you go to Monica, the stage manager, and you ask to send you a dancer. Ah. So you ask for a favor, she sends you another dancer that you were missing, so you can now fulfill two orders instead of one. Now, and is this two players, you only have one? One, Three exactly, players, yes. Two, There's limited so slots based on the number of players. And that's how important it is to play. Yes, as because you can play exactly. as many as you want from the tokens you have. You can never have more than three in front of you, but you can spend them right away, all of them. So, uh, this way, you, having priority is always important. In your case, you will get five dollars. Okay. And two new cards. The money is always uh, hidden. Down. Exactly. And you will get two extra cards for your hand. And your round is finished, and the other player can play. Now, important, there are several uh, from uh, members of the staff who do different things. For instance, this one can reroll a die, this one can cancel an event against you, and this one gives you extra uh, cards with a gold border that can shift the balance of the game. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, how long would a game typically take to play? Four players is a 45 minutes uh, game. And with two, it would be a much would be time. less, uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Oh, okay, that short. Yes. Okay. We have 18 customers. Each one comes with different uh, mechanic rules, a uh, unique ru uh, rules. So each gameplay will be a little bit different. It will be a lot different yeah. based on the rules. Some rules are in favor of the players, some rules are against the players, but the fun uh, rule is always yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Rule. So it seems like it can be a lot of fun. And uh, the art kind of follows that whimsical feel to it. Exactly. Beautiful, but still has that lovely whimsical the feel. The cards uh, always follow the fun of the game, friendly push. Okay. And, and uh, as we mentioned early on, there are both cards for men and for women here. For so, men and for women, yes. You don't have to. Uh, you don't, you don't also, <coughs> the randomness here can cover any sexual orientation, so she might want female dancers. Exactly. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That is a lap dance from our, our TPA games. Thank you so much. Thank you.